Code 3 Productions is pleased to bring you our new series, Healthy Cooking with Paramedics. My name is Paramedic Travis, and today I will be cooking a rotini pasta taco. The ingredients you will need for this dish include lean ground turkey or ground beef, taco seasoning or chili powder, mild chunky salsa, whole wheat rotini pasta, canned corn, and reduced fat Mexican shredded cheese. The first step you will need to do is to grease the pan with cooking spray. Next, you will want to cook one pound of ground turkey or lean ground beef on medium heat, breaking up the meat as it cooks into small pieces, retaining any fluid that forms during the cooking process. Once the meat has cooked until there is no pink left, you want to add your taco seasoning or chili powder. You will want to add one ounce of taco seasoning or two tablespoons of chili powder, mixing it with the meat and continuing to break up any large chunks of meat. After the seasoning is thoroughly mixed, you will want to add two cups of salsa, mixing it with the meat until well mixed. Then you will want to add canned corn, which should be drained prior to mixing it with the meat. After the corn is mixed, you want to add 8 ounces of rotini pasta and mix well, followed by 2 cups of cold water, mixing the water in order to soften the pasta noodles. Once everything is mixed well, turn the heat up until the mixture begins to boil. Once the mixture has begun to boil, you want to cover and turn the heat down to a simmer. Next, you will want to set a timer for 12 to 14 minutes. When the timer has reached 6 to 7 minutes left, you will want to stir the mixture to allow any uncooked pasta to go to the bottom in order to soften up. Once the time is up, you want to stir the mixture and then add 1 cup of reduced fat Mexican shredded cheese. Next, you will want to set a second timer for 2 minutes. Once the time is up, this dish is ready to serve. This is the entire recipe for the Rotini Pasta Taco. And this is the estimated cost for the Rotini Pasta Taco. And coming up on this season of Healthy Cooking with Paramedics. In our next episode of Healthy Cooking with Paramedics, we'll be cooking a high-protein, low-fat version of chicken and dumplings. Thank you for watching, and until next time, eat healthy and stay safe.